So let's go ahead and develop that regular expression. So let's go back to our model and put something in here that makes a little bit more sense. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a little formatting here and make it a little bit easier to see that. And the the first thing I'm going to to do is put in that X to make it a little bit easier to read. And I'm also going to put in the I modifier because I want to ignore case right here. All right, so I'm going to put in a regular expression and then as I comment it in the code and format it, you'll um, hopefully follow along with me uh, what it is. So we'll, we'll do this. Okay, now this is an example of a completely unintelligible regular expression, and I was just typing it, and you might be saying, why is that in there? So this is going to show, in a real example, the power of the X. So the first thing is I'm going to ignore case, the, the case of uh, our uh, right, uh, email addresses don't matter, and so I only, in this character class right here, I only have to put A through Z. I don't have to put capital A through capital Z in there. Alright, so let's uh, begin right here. Uh, begin of input. So we want to make sure that we don't get invalid email from the, the rest of our thing. So end of input and we will put that on a new line right here. All right. So, what is is this right here? What is that? This is easy. This is the you know, required at sign. Well, what is this character class? This is dash backslash w plus dot. Well, since this is a character class, normally when you see dashes, you think of something like here, a dash z. But since it's the first character, we, there, there can't be a range. So this is the actual dash. So an email can have a dash followed by some wordy character, a plus, or dot. I shouldn't say follow. It can have any number of those. So we'll just say dash uh, wordy plus or dot literal dot characters. And notice that we don't have the same regular expression here. Uh, notice that we, we add uh, backslash d so this can be digits and we have a dash z explicitly because dash the uh, backslash w represents an underscore character and that turns out to be illegal for a server name so we'll do again dash letter digit or dot characters and so that's our regular expression some set of characters followed by an at sign, followed by some other set of characters, all bounded by the beginning and end of input. And uh, hopefully this makes it fairly easy to see. Now the next thing we can do to make it a little bit nicer is we can line things up so the comments are easier to read. And of course, this needs to be on a new line. Like that. Otherwise, that would be part of the comment and not the end of the regular expression. So, that hopefully is our regular expression. Let's go ahead 
and try to run it. And it should be testing now against all the valid and invalid email addresses and they work exactly what, like we want. And now we have a way to be very picky about the types of data that we input into our system because we can give it this kind of template with a regular expression and say we only accept stuff that looks like this. We can make it quite easy to read with our X and, and document it very well so we'll be able to come back to it later and see exactly what we want. And so this is a, a very useful way to, to make our web application accept data the, the way we expect it to be accepted and um, not just say oh we get data or we don't get data like we had before when we just had presence in there.